So it's time for another preview in terms of another game in the Vanarama National League. This time though between Chesterfield and Wrexham in what seems to be a blockbuster game. If you guys are new to the channel make sure you do like, subscribe and tap that bell for more notifications so as when well I do upload. Give me your thoughts as well on what the predictions and the lineups are going to be for both teams and what how you think the cause of action will go. But yeah, hopefully guys you do enjoy the preview. And let's introduce Chesterfield. Just before we do introduce Chesterfield though, we are going to check out the league table for the Vanarama National League. Two games played but it stands Chesterfield a fifth with four points with a win and a draw and Wrexham at eighth position with four points with a win and a draw. And obviously Wrexham did draw against Oval Town at the weekend. And I do believe that Chesterfield picked up a win as well. But yeah, it, as I say, as the season carries on, the table will stand out a lot more. So what do you guys think about that? But for now, we'll properly introduce the hosts in Chesterfield. So it's now time to introduce the hosts in Chesterfield. They are fifth currently in the Vanarama National League, with summer signings of Horton, Clements, Dobre, Lucas, Sheckleford, Oldacre, Jones and Giassi. Also with the outgoings being Kellerman, who went to Woking, Loach went to Derby County, Gunning went to Swindon and Whittle went to York City. Obviously, as I did mention previously, the last result was a 1-0 win versus Aldershot Town. For me at the moment, though, the one to watch would be Jeff King, but you could also argue that the one to watch for Chesterfield is their main striker of last season, Kabongo Shamanga. Now, we do have a correspondent who predicted the Chesterfield lineup. So let's go and see who this correspondent is and what the lineup is that they have chosen. So the Chesterfield correspondent that we were speaking about is none other than BronJ2000 on Twitter. So do go and check him out. He's mentioned that the Chesterfield one to watch goes to Armando Dobre, who's the new signing for Chesterfield actually, which is a bit surprising. But he's gone for a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1, depending on how it actually fares out to be. In Fitzsimmons and goal, he's gone a back four of King, Williams, Grimes and Horton at the back, which leaves the midfield trio of Banks, Oldacre and Dobre, which then leaves a the front three of Mandeville, Quigley and Giassi. So how do you guys feel about that lineup? Is it a strong lineup for Chesterfield? And at the moment, how is Kabongo Shamanka getting on? But yeah, what's everyone's thoughts on that as well? And yeah, but for now, we'll go and check out the away opposition in Wrexham. So now it's time to introduce Wrexham. Now we did mention that Kai Evans came in from the academy, hence why he's classed as a summer sign. But they are currently eighth in the well in the Vanarama National League. With some signs of Elliot Lee, Mark Howard, Jordan Tunnicliffe, Anthony Ford, Sam Dolby, Jacob Mendy, and obviously the Academy graduate in Kai Evans. With some outgoings of Sean Brisley to Buxton, Quain Thomas to Sutton United, Dan Jarvis going to Gateshead, and Jordan Ponticelli going to Kingsland Town. The last result being a one all draw versus Yeovil Town. Now, if anyone hasn't checked that vlog out, do make sure you go and check that out. The link for that will be down in the description down below. With a form of one win and a draw. And for me, the man to watch is a bit silent at the moment, but goes to Ollie Palmer. Now, there's myself and Rob Ryan Red with lineups for Wrexham. But for now, before we do go into that, let's check out the head to head stats. So, just a quick one on the head to head stats. Between Chesterfield and Wrexham. Chesterfield with three wins, Wrexham with five wins, and four draws all together in the games played between the two sides. So, what's your guys' thoughts on that? Who will come out on top? But as I did mention, we did have two lineups predicted for Wrexham from myself and Rob Ryan Red. So, let's start off with Rob Ryan Red and who he's chosen for his lineup. So Rob Ryan Red has chosen Chesterfield one to watch player to beat Armando Dobre and he's gone Howard in goal, a back three of Toza, Hayden and Clueworth, which leaves Ford, Young, O'Connor and Mendy in the midfield with Elliot Lee as the number 10, which leaves Paul Mullen and Ollie Palmer up front. Now for me that's a strong lineup, but it needs to click and for me Parkinson's got to get it right. Now, if he doesn't get it right, it does spell questions, and I know we're only three games in, but for me, the formation is is in games where you are drawing, does need to be changed up a lot. But what's your thoughts on Rob Ryan Red's lineup? How does it fare to mine? 
But let's go and check out my lineup before making a decision on that. So moving on into my lineup, we have got Howard in goal, a back three of Hayden Tozer and Clueworth again, which leaves Ford. I've gone for James Jones in the centre midfield as well as Young. With Mendy as well, that's the midfield four for me, but it could easily be a back five as well. We all know Wrexham probably do play a back five with Ford and Mendy being full backs anyway. Was the wing back, sorry, with Elliot Lee as the number 10, which leaves Paul Mullen and Ollie Palmer up front. So what's your guys' thoughts on that? Who do you reckon has got the team nailed on? And if you was to change the formation, what would you change it to? And who would your team for Wrexham be altogether? And do you think it's unfair that McFadden has been left out as well? in both teams and um, but yeah let's move on to my prediction so for the predictions that i have saw line wise anyway i've gone chesterfield one wrexham two i believe kabongo shamanga probably might get a goal off the bench if he does if he is on the bench or if he does start he'll get a goal and i believe for wrexham it'll be ollie palmer and elliot lee i think elliot lee will show his class i think especially after that yeovil town game he probably does need to show his class a bit more now it's not slating him but for the player of his stature and his level he should have played better than what he did but obviously everyone does have a bad game but yeah what do you guys think of that score prediction is that a fair for score prediction to say and who do you guys think will come out on top but yeah let's move in to the final piece of the jigsaw of this preview so we are at the final piece of the jigsaw of this preview and I just want to say a massive thank you for everyone for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it make sure you do like and subscribe and tap that bell for more notifications as I do upload. I hope you guys do enjoy the game if I do see some of you there as well. Just make sure you come over and say hello you know I don't bite I don't hurt and I do have a conversation. And yeah I, you know all that good stuff entailed as well you know I'll have a laugh. And hopefully Wrexham do get the three points you know I'm trying to be non-biased as possible but you know, for me, Wrexham probably do deserve to go up at this point and probably well overdue. But let me know what your thought, guys' thoughts are on the game and everything else. But until next time, guys, the next video that's going to happen is the vlog Chesterfield versus Wrexham. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys later on tonight.